Hey, I'm TJ with ShopBot Tools, and next we're going to show you how to zero your Z axis on your ShopBot desktop. So, uh, first things first, we've got to pull off these guards and dust skirts so we can expose the Z axis. So, we'll pull our clips, slide this out of the way. We'll take our magnet, undo this, and expose our bit. So, at this point, we assume that you have properly installed a bit into your either spindle or your reporter cable router. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is verify in your actual drawing file where you have zeroed this in the drawing file. And you have the option to zero it to the top of the machine bed or you have the option to zero it to the top of the material. So you will want to reference your file and make sure wherever you have, have it drawn as zero, you do that out here on the machine. Failure to do this could have this bit plunge too far down into the spoil board, either damaging the spoil board or breaking a bit. So verify that before you continue on. All right, first things first is make sure any debris or sawdust is out before you put your Z0 plate down. Take the alligator clip and clip it onto the collet nut and make sure that it's on there good and tight. So what we're going to be doing next is making this come down and record its location with a Z0 and routine. But before we even continue on with that, we want to take this plate and clip it and touch it to the bottom of the bit and make sure that it is turning input 1 on on the software. And by doing this, we're verifying a green light coming on and knowing that the circuit is right before we continue on. Physically touch it to the bottom of the bit and look for input 1's green light to come on. So by touching it and letting off, the green light will make it a circuit and then break the circuit. Alright, we verify that our Z0 plate and alligator clip are in place. We can come to our ShopBot Easy and come over here to zero the Z icon. I click on this and it's going to prompt me. Hit enter when above plate is ready to zero. So that is verified on the machine. I will hit OK. Watch, this is going to start moving and it's going to go down and it's going to stop. Input one comes on, it makes a recording, it goes down and checks it one more time, it makes that recording. So the Z is now at a safe height of 0.5 above our zero. And this is important here where it says zero. Remember to remove the alligator clip and put it away before continuing on. So make sure that you do do this before you go and click OK. As I hit enter it will make a warning noise saying the machine is about to move and I'm going to have my hand safely back here holding the Z0 plate from moving while this is operating. It touches once, makes a recording, lifts up, and does one more touch and records that position. At this point our screen now prompts us to remember to Remove alligator clip and put Z0 plate away before proceeding.